In today's lesson, we are learning to identify, name, and describe the different types of angles acute, right, obtuse, straight, and reflect angles. What are angles? Well, angles are actually all around us. There are angles in most shapes and many of the objects that you see on a daily basis. Angles are formed when two straight lines meet. These two straight lines that we call rays as well have a common end point. The amount of turn or curl between these two lines is known as angle. The size of an angle changes depending on the amount of the turn of each of those straight lines. The size of an angle is measured in degrees. We use a protractor to measure the size of an angle. There are different types of angles and today we're learning about acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, straight angles and reflex angles. Acute angles are small angles. They are measured internally between the two straight lines. They are more than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. Here are some examples of acute angles. Now, I want you to pause this video and see if you can find the acute angles here. Well done, you found them. Here are the acute angles. Some triangles have acute angles, just like this one. The slice of pizza that you eat for lunch is an acute angle. The next type of angles are right angles. They have a special box-like symbol. They are exactly equal to 90 degrees. Have a look at some examples of right angles here. Now, pause the video again and see if you can find the right angles here. When you have found them, you can continue watching the video to check your answers. Well done! Here are the examples of the right angles. Here are the picture of some of the things in our everyday life around us that have right angles. The next type of angles are obtuse angles. They are actually larger than right angles. They are measured internally between the two straight lines. They are more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Pause the video and see if you can find some of the obtuse angles here. When you have finished, you can continue watching to check your answers. Well done! You found them. And as you can see, the obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees, but they are less than 180 degrees. And here are some examples of everyday objects around us that have obtuse angles. The other type of angles are called straight angles. They look like one straight line and they are equal to exactly 180 degrees. Have a look at some examples here. Look at these things in our everyday life that have straight angles. They are like one straight line. And finally, the last type of angles that we're learning about today are reflex angles. They are large angles and are measured externally between the two straight lines. As you can see in the examples here, reflex angles are more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. And here are some of the examples of the things around us that have reflex angles. As you can see there are more than 180 degrees but less than 360 but they are measured externally 